What's up, Mix Now this is your boy Marcus, and I'm back in black, and today we are gonna be covering a, a, a little hidden gem called The Garbage Pail Kids, the movie, coming up next. Before you proceed, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time we drop a new video, which is going to be either Monday or Friday, of course. And you know what you can do? You can go ahead and hit us with that super like while you're at it, all right? We greatly appreciate that. Check out the Mix Nuts friends, all right? These guys are super talented. They're available on all channels, all right? And uh, you can check us out on Instagram. That's that Mix Nuts 3000, all right? Mix Nuts 3000. Run it. All right, now let's dig into it. Now, the Garbage Pail Kids, I don't know, some of you guys may be too young to remember this, but let's just say this. Okay, these guys were a big ass deal back in the day, all right? Um, not sure why, like the dolls were creepy. They had car trading cards. I mean, it was a big deal in like, I wanna say like 80s, early 90s, and it kind of tapered off. But these was like a cartoon for kids, but they were like completely disgusting and they were like kids for some reason. I mean, we're talking about strings of snot coming out. I mean, they they really uh, they spared no expense on grossing you to hell out and made a ton of money doing it. But let me just read you a synopsis of this, right? This movie, they decided to make it into a movie. Really, it was, the, the movie was a movie, but it was the, 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 the Garbage Pail Kids was like a novelty thing, but they tried to make a, a feature length film for it and it just went terribly. Look. The main character, Dodger, he must confront the struggles of life as he is visited by the Garbage Pail Kids and intimidated by some older bullies. Now, during this time period this movie came out, right, everything was always about bullies, bro. I mean, uh, bullies was part of it. This is before they, like, did the whole no bullies thing, because, like, you know, people had bullies growing up. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know, you know, when they ejected them out, but every movie back in the day was clearly about bullies, and you know, getting back at the bully through some way, form, or another. Uh, I don't even, I, I think they just added it to that to just add more excitement to the film. But you'll see what I'm talking about when, you know, when you see these bullies, you're gonna be like, wow, seriously. But go ahead and run that trailer. I like the way they got the old school dude talking like uh, like it's a magical moment here going on. He was the sort of child who was always left out of things. Each day, I maybe it's because he dressed like Captain Crunch. You know what I mean? You walk, you running around here like Captain Crunch. Uh, hanging out with the garbage pail kids and then be like, I don't know why I'm not popular. To school, Dodger works in a junk shop owned by the mysterious Captain Nancy. Which is broth and vampire's brew. Make these clothes as good as new. <laughs> Dodger has never had a family or a friend he could call his own. It sounds like he's describing an active shooter, don't it? Until now. What's that? <laughs> he came out to help us. Oh, 
Okay, okay. I don't care how hard up you are for friends. Uh, did you see those little mutants coming in, kicking people? Like, there is no way you keep a straight face with that and just, like, pretend like that ain't weird. Meet the Garbage Pail Kids. Starring Nat Nerd. Windy Winston. The slapstick comedy in this movie, bro. Let me tell you something. I'm just showing y'all the trailer, but definitely watch the movie. I mean, it's insane. Messy Tessie. Give him a chance, Tangerine. You'll like it. Ali Gator. Valerie Bobbin. Lisa Gray. I'm gonna get fired for this. Foul Phil. Nice and it opens. The Garbage Pail Kids movie. They may not be pretty, but boy, they make great friends. Uh, no, they don't, bro. They tore up your whole place of work, and, like, the only dude is willing to hire you. And look at this guy. He's, like, the worst wizard of all time. And he's just watching, like, I don't know what I'm doing with my, you know, with my whole life. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Starring Anthony Newley and Mackenzie Aston. All right, now did y'all see that, dude? Now look, here's the thing. I want you to keep this in mind too. All right, this movie, this is like this is like an E, not even a B movie, like an E movie, right? They made millions upon millions of dollars before they got to this movie, just off of the toys, and it still came out this shitty. And let me, I mean, let me just remind you guys, this is the era of Jim Henson with the puppets, right? And their puppets suck. I'm like, the main part is the Garbage Pail Kids. The whole movie's named after them. And they face barely move, all right? It's so freaky, bro. Bro, I mean, let's just run a quick clip right here. And I'm gonna just talk over this, though. But look at these, you know, look at these things, man. They barely even move in their face. They walk around all weird. You can't tell who's talking half the time. It's just all around strange. I don't know how they pulled this off. I don't know why you wouldn't run tests. I guess they thought since kids liked it, they didn't have to go all out, but I'm like, maybe if these things were like in the background or something, or just like a quick scene, but since they're gonna be in a movie this much with this many lines, bro, you gotta make sure they face move. Like they barely blinked, bro. They were just like, ah, what weird looks on their face. And just everything about them was super gross. I mean, you know how like, with the Garbage Pail Kids, right, like, when they're drawn is one thing. You're like, ah, you get to look at different features and they're all gross or whatever. But when you, like, make it real, it reaches, like, a whole nother level. It just gets creepy, bro. This movie was scary as hell. I just showed y'all the trailer, but did, I watched this movie and I was like, what, what, what the hell is this? I mean, it's just terrifying, bro. But, like, not trying to be, though. And then when they tried to be funny, it was just like, I mean, it look. It was hacky when it came out. So, like, now you watch it and it's just really bad. This is one of those movies that if you like Garbage Pail Kids back in the day, you're probably going to like the movie, nostalgia-wise anyway. But overall, it's a pretty crap movie. And uh, I'd say watch it if you just want to make fun of it, all right? Or if you want to feel weird. But I don't know if you should... I, you, you should definitely be sober when you watch this because I feel like it may have the potential to put you over the edge where you're just, like, freaking out. All right, because it has that kind of creepiness to it, especially because they come out of the garbage, bro, like garbage babies, bro. What? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, the 80s had a lot of movies like these where it was like the entire movie was based around selling toys. So they didn't put that much work into the storyline. I mean, there's a lot of movies that came out with the idea of just selling toys. You know what I mean? So... They would just throw stuff in the movie. That's how a lot of them old Batman movies are ruined, bro. They were trying to sell new bat bikes or bat copters or whatever. Sometimes they'd have a whole movie and they'd have some toy to go with it. And it was never in the movie. So, you know, you never can tell what the motivation behind this was because they already made the money is what I'm trying to say. For Garbage Pail Kids, they made a ton of movie. And I guess they thought, if this movie does well, we're going to do franchises. But you, I mean, you got to make the first one good. This one was a complete, this is probably dead on arrival. Uh, I don't know if they did show this in a test group, but it's an hour and 40 minutes and this is what their final uh, deal was. Came out in 1987. So, I mean, this is what they released to the public is like, this is a movie after making all this money and it was awful, bro. Um, 
and not in a good way. That's why it's not really a cult classic because it's just bad. It's not so bad. It's kind of awesome. It's just so bad and just creepy as hell. I mean, no reason for any movie to be this creepy. All right, mixed nutters, that is it for me today. I'm about to make like a baby and head out. If you want to support the channel, go to buymeacoffee.com slash mixed nuts. We got new videos coming every Monday and or Friday. And you can check us out on uh, Instagram. That's that mixed nuts 3000. Again, that mixed nuts 3000. And until next time.